Life with Ben, only on PTV. What you're looking at right now is old technology. <laughs> well, old as in that it's been around forever. This is a coaxial cable brought to my house courtesy of Comcast. Wow, it's really bright out here. Comcast has been our internet provider for, oh, I, I really don't know, maybe about five, six, seven, eight years. That's after we left AT&T and their lame excuse for internet connectivity. Comcast has been speedier, but pretty much the only game in town until recently when Sonic moved into my neighborhood. Sonic is fiber as opposed to cable. Apparently it's supposed to be much faster and we're gonna get uh, a better connectivity with this service as opposed to Comcast. If we wanted the same kind of connectivity with Comcast that Sonic is providing, we'd probably be paying more than twice as much. I signed up for Sonic Internet about three days ago. Within 10 minutes of my signing on to Sonic, they arranged for a technician to come out and bring this hookup here, the coil that you see here on the left. It's been hanging here for two days. On the right is the connection that Comcast has been providing for the last several years. We're gonna see what Sonic does in order to make our lives better with the internet. Sonic has slowly been rolling out their service here in the Bay Area, but I'm glad they made it to my neighborhood. And after my neighbor's recommendation, I'm deciding to give them a try. Sonic is a local provider. Their headquarters are in the North Bay in Santa Rosa. They've been in constant contact with me throughout the entire sign-up process. I signed up, I think, on Friday, and within minutes, they had reached out to me via email and text, lining up the appointments for the actual setup and the connection for two separate appointments, and they could not have been better. Their customer service is already so much better than what I've experienced over the last several years. When I decided to dump Comcast in favor of Sonic, and yeah, it's Comcast, not Xfinity. Xfinity is just a different name that they use just to try and hide themselves from Comcast. Actually, after having been voted one of the worst companies in America for several years, I can't say enough bad things about Comcast, and I'm very, very glad to be able to say I'm getting rid of Comcast in favor of Sonic. Doug did some research for me, and after hearing the requirements for Sonic and their fiber connection that I'm going to be getting, I went with the Asus RT-AX88U Pro. Apparently this is the right one. I ran this by the technicians at Sonic. And they said, yes, that'll work. So I'm here to take a look at it. Apparently this router is very popular with gamers. I'm not a gamer, but we do do our weekly show on PTV Live and a better connection will lead to no buffeting and better connections for all of you who watch us on a regular basis. Wow, this is intense. I'm gonna trust the people at Sonic who are setting up my connection with fiber are gonna know what they're doing. I originally had a two-year agreement with Comcast for $60 a month. When that was done, it went up to $80 a month. Sonic is providing me this service for $50 a month. No data caps and it's fiber. Comcast is coaxial, $80 a month, and it has a, data, a monthly monthly data cap of 1.2 terabytes of data. It's a no-brainer here. I think it's a win-win for me and Sonic. So I'm really excited to get this going. We've got a couple of guys from Sonic who are installing here. 
in my house and like it says right there fiber optic internet and woohoo I am so excited about this I can't wait to test the speed the sonic installation went for oh probably about two hours they said estimate four hours for it to be completed they were able to finish it in four i guess they allow four because sometimes places will be a little bit compromising and more complicated to do a setup but because of the way i wanted the service to be set up in my home it was a fairly easy install for them and i'm very very happy to have been able to oblige them with that what i'm happier about though are the results that I'm already getting. Take a look at these. If you look at these numbers right here, this was on my laptop using Comcast. With the current setup that I had, the download is just over 68 megabits per second, and the upload is 17 point megabits per second, which this is what I've been dealing with for the last three, four, five years. I don't even remember when I started this particular round of service with Comcast. That's slow compared to the Wi-Fi connection on Sonic that I did just after. 687 down, 615 up. Night and day, night and day. And that's Wi-Fi. When you take an ethernet cable from the new router that I just put here in my room and connect it to the computer, it's 939 down and 918 up. That's almost a gigabit. That is how they advertise the, the speed. They can have anywhere from one to 10, depending on the equipment that you can have in your place. But I went with what was recommended by the technician I had Amazon send it to me. It was, I got it overnight. I could not be more excited about this service. Sonic Internet. If you're here in the Bay Area and you have access to it, dump whoever you're using, whether it's AT&T and their crap fest or Comcast and their sorry excuse for home internet, dump them. Sign up with Sonic you will not be disappointed. I'm looking forward to many, many fun, well-rounded and well-supported streams in the future. <laughs> I'm so excited with Sonic. Remember, adventure is out there.